One of the most important pieces of software on any Linux distribution is the login manager, or they sometimes call it a display manager. Now, what is a login manager? It's the screen that you see when you first boot up your computer and it asks you for name and password to get into your desktop environment. And it's really important, especially if you have multiple desktop environments or multiple window managers installed on your machine, because the login manager, other than you entering a name and a password, it also allows you to switch between all the various desktop environments and window managers you happen to have installed. And that's important for me because I have like 15 window managers installed on my main production machine. So a login manager makes sense for me because it allows me to easily switch between the various window managers, you know, whatever I feel like logging into that day. One of the most common login managers is a program called SDDM, which is the Simple Desktop Display Manager, I believe is what it stands for. It's the default login manager for KDE Plasma and LXQt, but SDDM can be used as a login manager for any desktop environment or window manager, and it's uh, one of the most common ones today. Let me switch over to my desktop, and let me pull up a uh, virtual machine here of Manjaro, because this is Manjaro KDE, because it's KDE Plasma here. The default login manager here is SDDM. Now, one of the very cool things about SDDM is just how themable it is, because literally you can change anything you want to about a login manager like SDDM, because you can uh, config it if you have the, the proper skills. You can actually move around the date and time and your avatars, you know, the little pictures. If you take one with a webcam of your user, you can uh, move around the uh, text boxes for username and password and things like that. You can move the shutdown buttons and you can actually retheme the shutdown buttons and just everything about SDDM is configurable. And I thought it would be really cool to configure my own SDDM theme for my DTOS script, which is a script uh, for a post installation script for Arch Linux. And it installs my Xmonad desktop environment and the fish shell and Doom Max and all of that. And I thought it would be really cool to have a, a theme for the SDDM login manager that gets installed with DTOS. So I have never actually been a SDDM user because uh, for years I always used LightDM as my login manager. And the other thing is SDDM is a Qt application. I've never actually played around with Qt theming or, or anything like that. So this was going to be a real challenge for me. So the first thing I did was I went to the AUR and I looked up SDDM because I wanted to see how many SDDM themes were in the AUR. And apparently theming SDDM is very easy because there's like 30, 40, maybe 50 SDDM themes to choose from. So I noticed that there was one here called Solarized SDDM dash theme. And if I go to their GitHub page, um, you can see what this is. I think they have a screenshot. It's a very simple theme. It uses Solarized Dark for the colors. And when I saw that, I thought, man, that is really cool because the other day, you know, I, I made, I've made a couple of videos actually in the last couple of weeks about color schemes, uh, specifically about the Doom 1 color scheme and Solarized and Grovebox and all of that. I have nine different color schemes that I use in DTOS, and I have all nine color schemes available in Doom Emacs, in the Alacrity Terminal, in my XMOBAR panel, in Conky, and I thought it would be really cool if I could have all nine of those color schemes available in my SDDM theme. So I actually spent several hours each day for the last three days uh, working on my own SDDM theme. So what I did is, because I didn't really know uh, how to theme this properly as far as the config, I actually took the config from this particular repository, Solarized SDDM theme, and uh, of course I edited it quite a bit uh, for my colors, uh, specific to my color schemes that I wanted to use. And he had some artwork here. I didn't use any of the artwork because I figured I would create my own artwork because I was gonna have to create a ton of different images because I wasn't gonna just have you know one background image. I was gonna have at least nine background images. Plus you're gonna need some of the images for your shutdown logo and your reboot logo, you know, the little icons you see on your login manager that reboot the system if you click on it. So let me switch back over to my desktop and I'll show you exactly what I did. I'm going to open a terminal for this because I, I want to be able to zoom in. 
so you guys can actually see all this. And I uh, created a new GitLab repository for, I called my color scheme, multicolor-sddm-theme. And if I do an LS, you can see I created uh, some directories here, PNG, SVG, and XCF, depending on what type of images I was creating. XCF, if I CD into that, that is the default image format for GIMP. So if I LS, you see I have nine different XCF files, each one based on one of the nine color schemes that I want to use. And I include the uh, GIMP XCF files for those that want to edit these files. It makes it a lot easier to have these images as XCF because I've got various layers that are still in the images that you can play around with. Again, it just makes editing the images easier. Now, of course, I need to export all of these to ping to a, to a proper ping format. So there are the nine pings. And if you guys want to see these in full size, uh, let me just open this inside uh, SXIV here and we'll make this full screen. I'll get rid of the bottom border there. And that is the Doom one color scheme. And uh, that's going to be the background image on my login manager yeah i'll have this color scheme here this this background image and then we'll have the date and time somewhere over here and then we'll have the username and password text box over here and if you need to change amongst different desktop environments or window managers there'll be a drop down menu in the top left hand corner so that's the doom one image i created and all i did was again i since i saved these as xcf files it's very easy to change the colors inside GIMP. So once I had the Doom 1 uh, color scheme uh, background image here created, it was very easy for me then to go ahead and create a, uh, a image for Dracula. So let me go ahead and hit N on the keyboard here inside SXIV, N for next. That is the Dracula background image, and that's the Gruffbox Dark background image, and that I believe is the Monokai Pro background image. That is definitely Nord. And that's Oceanic Next. And this, of course, Solarized Dark. And oh my goodness, that's Bright Solarized Light. And of course, Tomorrow Night. So all nine of the color schemes you know that I've already had available in so many of my other programs inside DTOS. Now we're going to make sure that our login manager screen has background images for each of the nine color schemes. So let me CD up a directory and this is the main directory for multicolor-sdm-theme. I'll clear the screen here and do an ls and of course I've created a readme and I've already made package builds for it for Arch package builds and I've already made a package build and uploaded it to the AUR. So you guys can already install multicolor-sdm-theme from the AUR. If I go back to my browser, I think I was logged into my uh, AUR login here. Yeah. And I've got three packages currently listed in the AUR. My own, I have my own repository of Arch software, of course, in the DTOS core repository. So I don't package too much stuff in the AUR, but I thought the multicolor SDDM theme was a good package to throw in the AUR. It will also be in the DTOS core repository as well. So here is my GitLab page for the new multicolor SDDM theme repository. And then, of course, I need to make sure that all of this gets installed and enabled by default in uh, DTOS. But let me show you, for those of you that don't want to install DTOS, how multicolor SDDM theme works. So if you were in a Arch-based Linux distribution, for example, since we already have this VM up of Manjaro KDE, let me go ahead and log in. And if you just want to install this from the AUR, let me zoom in, all you need to do inside of Manjaro, they use Paru as their AUR helper. So I'll do a Paru uh, dash capital S multi color SDDM dash theme. Actually kind of interested if this installs correctly because I just finished working on this within the last 30 minutes or so. Like it's gonna be my first test really with this. So let me enter my root password and it just installed multicolor SDDM theme. Now that doesn't mean the theme is active and enabled. It's still gonna use the standard Manjaro SDDM theme because you, there's config files that you need to edit. So typically that config file that you need to edit for SDDM, it'll be located in one of two places. It'll either be located in user, lib, sddm sddm.conf.d it'll be listed in, in that particular directory i know that's a long directory there'll be like a, a default.conf 
in that directory on many distributions. Here inside Manjaro, it is actually slash Etsy slash sddm.conf, and that's actually kind of nice. <laughs> you, you get to type a shorter pass. So I'm going to do sudo vim slash Etsy slash sddm.conf. And what you need to do is find the the theme section and there will be current equals and then name of theme. And by default in Manjaro, they're using breath two. Uh, what I'm going to do, I, I may actually want the breath two theme back in future videos. But right now, I'm going to create a new line here and I'm going to do current equals multicolor dash SDDM dash theme. And then write and quit. And now if I log out of KDE Plasma here, so I'm going to click on leave, log out, log out, it'll kick us back out to the SDDM login manager, except now it should be using my multicolor SDDM theme. And by default, it's going to use the Doom 1 colors, and there you go. Now, it doesn't look quite right because the screen resolution is off. I've got a 1920 by 1080 monitor, but the, the resolution is much smaller. Yeah, I was even zoomed in a little bit there. It's more like a uh, 1024 by 768 or something. So a very small resolution makes it uh, kind of scrunched up, but you can see how it kind of would look on a, on a proper size monitor. You have your username and password boxes here. You got your time and date, which is usually centered above these boxes, but everything's kind of scrunched up, unfortunately, in this VM. And then you have a drop down box where all your sessions will be listed if you have multiple window managers or desktop environment selected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to log back in and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uninstall this because I want to see if this gets installed correctly if I run the the script for uh, DTOS. So I'm going to do a sudo pacman dash capital R for remove uh, multi uh, color sddm dash theme. Go ahead and remove that and since we remove that we need to make sure that i go back into the slash etsy slash sddm.com remember i uh didn't delete the line that had the breath two theme so let me go ahead and uncomment that and i'll just delete the line that was setting multicolor sddm theme and now everything is back to the way it is on a fresh install of Manjaro KDE Plasma. So now let's go ahead and run through a DTOS installation. And let me go back to a, a different workspace here because I want to show you what I added to the uh, DTOS script here. Enable SDDM for login manager. It installs SDDM. It enables SDDM. Well, first it disables whatever display manager you have set if you have one. Then it enables SDDM as your login manager. And then if there is a file on your system at user lib sddm sddm.conf.dedefault.conf. That's a long path. But if that file exists, I'm going to copy it and make a backup of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and with said replace current equals whatever current theme is currently set to. And I'm going to do current equals multicolor dash SDDM dash theme. Now that, of course, is only going to work on uh, systems that use user lib SDDM SDDM dot conf dot D slash default dot config. What? Well, Manjaro KDE, we already know, uses slash Etsy slash SDDM dot conf. So I may have to actually add uh Add some more information here. I may actually, what I need to do probably just to cover all of my bases, I'm actually going to copy all of that and I'm going to paste the exact same thing except this time. Let's go ahead just in case because distributions will have that config file in various places just in case they have an Etsy SDDM.com. Let's make sure that we change that. All right, so I added this new section. So if either one of these files exists, we're changing the current theme in those files. So let me write that. Let me export that to the DTOS uh, shell script. And then, of course, I need to push this to my GitLab. So I'm going to CD into GitLab dash repos DTOS. And just quickly, I'm going to do a git add dash u git commit. Uh, editing slash etsy slash sddm dot conf is going to be the commit message git push 
And now let's actually go ahead and see if we can run this DTOS script and then everything works correctly. So I'm going to do a uh, git clone https colon slash slash gitlab.com slash dwt1 slash dtos. Now let's cd into the dtos directory. If I did it in ls, you will see a script there called dtos. So do dot slash dtos to run the script. All right, and you get some welcome information. Just hit OK four times. It's adding the PGP keys. It added the DTOS core repository to this installation of Manjaro because many of the packages have to install from the DTOS core repository because I package you know, about 30 of my own programs now at this point. And it's going to install 347 packages. I'll pause the video. I'll be back once the installation has gotten further along. All right, it looks like it's getting close to finishing the uh, package install. And then once it finishes installing those 347 packages with Pac-Man, it has to run through an installation of Doom Emacs as well. The Doom Emacs portion of the installation actually is the longest part of the install. And it's going to take five, maybe ten minutes. Uh, answer yes to both questions that Doom Emacs will ask you. So stay close to your keyboard during the installation because you will have to answer yes a couple of times. And the installation of Doom Emacs is almost complete. There's that second yes or no question. Do you want to download and install all the icon fonts? Yes, we do. All right, now we're very close to the end of the DTOS script. It needs a root password for something. So give it your root password so it can recompile Xmonad. And then it allows us to choose our default shell, our default user shell. I want to be using the fish shell, so I'll choose one. And then it says enable SDDM as a login manager. So we got that message. So hopefully that worked. And then it says DTOS has been installed. Do you want to reboot your computer? Sure. Now, if we had another login manager previously enabled, it was disabled with the DTOS script. SDDM was enabled. And then we edited the SDDM config file, assuming it was in one of those two places in our script that we were searching for files and then changing the current theme from whatever it happens to be set to to multicolor SDDM theme. And by default, it's going to use the Doom 1 colors. So that is the background image. Let me show you how to change from the Doom 1 background image to one of the other eight color schemes. So let me hit Control-Alt-T here inside Manjaro to open a terminal and let me zoom in here. And what I'm going to do is I actually logged into Plasma instead of the Xmodad desktop. I should have. Let me go back. I really didn't want to do this in Plasma. All right, now that we're back to the login manager, let me go to the drop down here and actually select Xmonad. And now let's log in just to make sure that the DTOS script actually worked. Yeah, we have my Xmonad desktop. Let me do a xrander-s 1920 by 1080 to get a proper screen resolution. Uh, and all of that looks good. It's, uh, we still got some weirdness going on with the background. I'm going to set a random background image just to fix the wallpaper. And I'll go ahead and kill all conky as well since the conky is out of place since we changed the screen resolution there so dtos does look like it's working correctly let me launch a new terminal here and this is the alacrity terminal and sddm themes anytime you install an sddm theme it needs to go in slash a uh, user slash share slash uh, sddm slash themes if i did a ls in that directory that is where all of your SDDM themes need to go and you see multicolor SDDM theme. So, But we have oh, five other themes we could choose from including Breath 2 which was the default theme that Manjaro was using. So if I CD into user share SDDM themes multicolor SDDM theme you will see there is a config file there a theme.conf and then do sudo vim or nano or whatever text editor you're comfortable using theme.conf and it's going to ask for a root password and this is the default theme.conf you see background equals ping slash doom dash one dash oh one dot ping well there are eight other pings including uh, dracula and 
if we really want to go crazy gruff box dark not my favorite theme but i'm going to change it for now let's write and quit that so writing that file there that one theme.comp file in the multicolor sddm theme folder should actually do what we wanted it to do yeah it kicks us right back out to the login manager when i quit and there is the gruff box dark wallpaper and let me log back in Open a terminal. Let me run that xrander command one more time. I'm going to up arrow a few times because I want to CD back into the uh, multicolor SDDM theme directory. And sudo vim theme.com one more time just to verify that everything else is working. Let's do a solarized dark. Right and quit that. Quit out of Xmonad, and there is the solarized dark. So again, nine different options available with multicolor SDDM theme. So there are three different ways you guys can install multicolor SDDM theme, depending on what distribution you happen to be running. So let me go ahead and go back to the GitLab repository for my theme. And I think I have a section here for installation. So on Arch Linux, those of you that are using the AUR, just install Multicolor SDDM theme from the AUR. For those of you that have the DTOS core repository enabled, or you're actually using DTOS, you guys will find Multicolor SDDM theme in the default repository. So you can just install it using Pac-Man. Now, those of you that are not using an Arch-based system or DTOS, you guys, what you're gonna have to do is just clone this repository. All you need to do is git clone this repository, and then remember where the themes go. They go in slash user slash share slash SDM slash themes. That's all you need to do. Put this repository, the, the folder that it creates, put that in user share SDM themes. Then find the sddm.comp file, wherever that default comp file is, you know, where, whatever it happens to be on your Linux distribution, and edit current equals, and make sure it says current equals multicolor-sddm-theme. And that should work on any distribution. That should work on Ubuntu, Mint, and Fedora, OpenSUSE, whatever, but I haven't tested it out on anything that's not an Arch-based system because I, I don't run uh, any non-Arch-based systems, but I would assume that that should work on every Linux distribution. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Gabe, James, Matt, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Akami, Allen, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Kurt, Diokai, David, Dylan, Gregory, Heiko, Lee, Maxim, Michael, Mike, Nitrix, Erjan, Alexander, Peace, Argent, Fedora, Polytech, Raver, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. They're the producers of this episode. And I also need to thank each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you a bunch of names here on the screen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because without each and every one of these guys, guys i couldn't make these videos i couldn't spend time creating cool things like multicolor sddm theme if you like my work and want to help support me please consider subscribing to distrotube over on patreon all right guys peace